For problem number seven, it says, which of the following is equivalent? I have a 5x squared minus 45. I notice that both terms have a common denominator of 5. So if I pull the 5 out, I get x squared minus 9. Well, that's a difference of squares. Remember that if I say a plus b times a minus b, and I foil that out, I'll get a squared minus b squared. And that's what we have going on here. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you, sir. So basically, 5 times x plus 3 times x minus 3 is the prime factorization of this thing. Now, just to verify and make sure, I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to multiply that out so you guys can trust that I'm doing and saying the right thing. So if I say x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 3, x times x equals x squared, 3 times x is 3x, x times negative 3 is going to be negative 3x, and then negative 3 times positive 3 is a negative 9. Uh, when you have 3x and you take away 3x, those cancel, and I'm left with x squared um, minus 9, which is, the, that shows that that is the prime factorization. And then if you multiply it by 5, you get the the original term that we started with. So he is the solution on that one.